Hello guys, welcome back. Today is Friday morning and this is when I soak and decorate my cakes for the market that I have tonight and I also have a market tomorrow. So I'm making all my cakes so that I'm ready for both markets. I've already baked my chocolate cake and these are going to be chocolate Kahlua cake. So I've already soaked them in Kahlua simple syrup. And right now I am about to make my chocolate ganache frosting that I use for the top. So I wanted to show you guys how simple and easy it is to make a chocolate ganache frosting or icing that you can pipe. You can also use it to drip when it's in this melted state right now. And you can also um, add extra chocolate to it and put it in the freezer and it'll firm up to the point where you can scoop it with like a mini ice cream scooper and make truffles out of them and then later on roll roll it into something like chopped nuts or coconut or just put more melted chocolate over them kind of to make like a candy but what I like to do is just make a pipeable frosting out of it and it's very very easy the recipe ratio that I use is just one cup of heavy cream so I just use any type of heavy cream you find at the store and then you add eight ounces of chocolate to it. Your chocolate will depend on what you want. So I just use this cheap chocolate. You can use some more expensive chocolate. Um, you can use the bar chocolate that they sell for baking or melting. But I use a combination of semi-sweet chocolate and milk chocolate. I have done it with just plain dark chocolate as well. But I don't like how bitter it comes out. I like the, the combination of those two. So that is it. Whatever chocolate of your choice, eight ounces of it, so you have to weigh it, and then one cup, one fluid cup of heavy cream. So I just use my liquid measuring cup for that part. So what I do is heat up the heavy cream. You can do it over the pot or like I did in the microwave. Heat up your heavy cream. Once your heavy cream is nice and hot, you put in your eight ounces of whatever chocolate you are using. And then you're just gonna let it sit and let it naturally melt the chocolate chips. You can put a plate over the bowl or just let it sit on the counter. So after it's sat for a while, all the chocolate melts and you just stir it. And you can see how it is kind of like a chocolate sauce right now and the bowl is still warm to the touch. So what I'm gonna do is stick this in the fridge and let it cool down. The edges are gonna cool down first. I will notice when you turn it here, you can see that the edges will like cling to the sides of the bowl. But the idea is to get this cool enough so that we can whip it. Um, I have an electrics mixer, or you could use a stand mixer, and incorporate air into it, and that'll make it into a fluffy frosting. But right now, we can't do that because it's still warm, and whipping it won't really work. So I'm going to cool this down till it's a little cool to the touch. Right now, the bowl is warm still. So I'm going to do that and then show you how quick it will be to whip this up into a frosting that I can pipe on top of these cakes. Alright, this has been sitting in the fridge for a little bit. It is thickening up. It's still soft in the middle though. So what I'm going to do is just incorporate a little bit of air into it and then stick it back in the fridge for a while longer so it can finish cooling down. So it's not completely going to whip up right now, but it is starting to get cold, especially around the edges where it touches the bowl. So let me just do that and then we'll stick it back in the fridge, pull it back out and finish it off. Alright, just pulled this out of the fridge again for the second time. You can see now it's a lot more thicker and I'm just going to go ahead and whip this on high speed until it turns into a thicker frosting. So I'll show you guys how it looks when I am finished with that. Alright, this is how it looks after I whip it for a while. You can see it resembles kind of like a buttercream frosting. And it is ready to be put in a piping bag. And I'm going to pipe it on top of my cakes. And then after I decorate my cakes, I have some chocolate. The dark chocolate pieces I'm going to put on top of it. And that's going to be the decoration. And then I'll stick everything in the fridge. Since this is made with heavy cream and chocolate, you do have to refrigerate this frosting because you don't want it to go bad sitting outside in warm temperatures. But this took about 
uh, maybe like a minute on the highest speed of my stand mixer so it's pretty quick and in the refrigerator this will sit and firm up even more so it's going to be kind of like a harder fudge frosting once it cools off in the refrigerator and then that is pretty much it so I'll show you when I'm piping it on the cakes and then I will just store everything in the fridge until our market tonight